Excuse me. <laughs> Madam Prime Minister, I'm Billy D. Williams. I, uh, I've visited your uh, lovely island in the Caribbean many times, and I've been looking forward to the pleasure of meeting you. Uh, how long uh, will you be in our country? Deo. <laughs> Deo? Deo. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Uh, daylight she come, me want to go home. <laughs> Jet lag. She had an exhausting flight. I'm Sandra Club. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> There's no place like home. With your family around you, you're never alone. When you know that... Hello, girls. Holding down the stoop? Yes, ma'am. You look gorgeous. Oh, why, thank you, Tiffany. I just came from my makeover. A private consultation with Mr. Maurice himself. He's just one of the nation's top cosmetologists. He created Madonna's Beauty Mall. <laughs> he let me have a sample of this new perfume still being tested in the laboratory. Several male hamsters had to be physically restrained. Um, Miss Clark. Oh, call me Sandra. Sandra, I was wondering if you could help me out on some advice about what to do about, um, um, man problems. <laughs> you having problems with the boys already? Well, one boy. One's fine. You want to start slow. <laughs> so, what is it you're trying to do with this boy? Love him or lose him? <laughs> Ooh, the advice differs considerably. <laughs> the first of the two, I guess. You guess? Sure, you sound a little fuzzy on the subject. <laughs> Hasn't your mother told you all about this? Well, yes, ma'am, but she's married, so she doesn't have much to do with men anymore. <laughs> so Brenda wanted to talk to you. Mm, get some advice from a woman still on the active list, yes. <laughs> so you're trying to pique this boy's interest, huh? Mm, well, let's see what we have to work with. Stand up. Turn around. Oh, good raw material. <laughs> Refine it. <laughs> okay, we're ready to play. $1,000, top dollar value on our wheel. Try not to hit bankrupt. If you do, you lose your cash, but not your merchandise, because once you buy a prize, it's yours to keep. Now, our first category is title, and just before the show, we drew numbers to see what start the game, and Sandra, it's going to be you. Good luck, everybody. Come on, a thousand! <laughs> and seven fifty. Pat. My three favorite things begin with M. Money, men, and me. I'll take an M. Good evening, Sandra. Ooh. Well, if it isn't little Miss Mumphrey, I see more than just school is out. I had thought that we were going to be able to be adult about this evening. I don't see why not. We are both mature, educated women. Good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> you know, ooh, you got a run in your stocking. Oh, no. Uh, Anthony! <laughs> mm, I'm sorry I'm late. I got tied up in a meeting. Oh, the party was wonderful. Let's go catch a movie now. No, 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 but I just got... Oh, Betty. Ooh, you look sensational. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you enjoying the exhibit? Well, I really haven't had a chance to see it yet. It starts on the other side of the room. Why don't you beat the crowd, Betty? <laughs> Well, why don't we all go to see it together? Sure, follow us. <laughs> Hi, Brenda! Hi, Miss Clark. I didn't think you'd ever eat in a place like this. Oh, well, when I'm paying for it myself, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Want to share a chili burger with me? No, I just came in to apply for a job. Did you get it? No, Mr. Billy Bob over there said nothing was open. That's Billy Bob? Uh-huh. You really want this job? <laughs> uh, yeah, but... Just hold tight, Brenda. Well, he already checked my qualifications. But he hasn't checked mine. <laughs> Hi, can you help me? Sure, what can I do for you? 
I'm looking for the owner of this establishment. Billy Bob. I'm Billy Bob. <gasps> Young, handsome man like you? <laughs> you playing games with me. No, no, this is my place. Can I help you? Oh, yes. Eunice Crawford told me to look you up. You remember Eunice? I don't think I do. Oh, she's a beautiful girl, but you must go with so many beautiful girls, you can't keep track. Well. <laughs> well, anyway, Eunice said, if anybody could tell me which was the best French restaurant in town, you could. She says you're quite a connoisseur. Yes. <laughs> I have been told that. <laughs> uh, French restaurants. Um, well, I'd say Les Montmartre is the best. Oh, thank you. I must try it. But I just hate to eat in a place like that alone. <laughs> oh, then perhaps um, you'd allow me to take you. Well, okay. Good, good. No, oh, just... but there's just one other little thing. You see that young, sweet-looking girl over there? She's a real good friend, and she likes so much to work here. Oh, yes, I just spoke with her. I told her we're not hiring. Oh, that's so disappointing. I may have just lost my appetite for French food. Well, maybe, um, maybe we could talk about it over dinner. If we talk about it right now, we can discuss other things over dinner. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Mary. Miss Rose here. I thought she might like go to the movies or something. I thought you were invited to a dinner party. I was. Turned out to be a dinner party for two. Practically had to fight my way out of that man's apartment. <laughs> I was forced to show him my kung fu. <laughs> Sandra, you know you don't know nothing about no kung fu. Believe me, where I kicked him, he not only saw kung, he saw fu, too. <laughs> well, after that ordeal, you deserve some pecan pie. Come on in. Oh, you know, Mary, I'm so upset. I don't want no pie. I'll just go, you know. Hey, Mary, Lester said you knew where the sweet and low is. I'm over here. <laughs> Hi. Sandra Clark, meet Mitchell Evans. A pleasure. It sure is. Uh, shall we sit? Well, if I'm not intruding. <laughs> uh, Mary. Hi, Lester. Hi, Sandra. Mary, may I make one small observation? Oh, Lord, go ahead. This man is gorgeous. <laughs> Sandra. Well, he Let's get right to it. Mitchell, are you married, gay, or on your way to Tasmania? <laughs> I'm not married, I'm not gay, and I just canceled my trip to Tasmania. Ooh! Mary, Lester, where you been hiding him? Mitchell is Brenda's math teacher. Math teacher? That's so ironic. Math is my life. <laughs> Mary, how many times have I said to you, if a $160 dress goes on sale at a 40% discount, we should grab it? You should hear her algebra. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? With Sandra around, you better make it quick. You don't get many chances. <laughs> are, are you always this direct with someone you just met? Well, only if I like the people I just met. And I like you. <laughs> you certainly don't hold back. It takes me forever to get to know someone. Well, then we better get started. I know this great piano bar where the guy knows all these Duke Ellington songs, and they stay open late on Wednesday nights. And since this is a Wednesday night... It is a school night. Oh, then he can't come out and play. <laughs> hey, uh, how I spent my summer vacation mm -hmm. by Thorns with Club. Mm -hmm. It was a day like any other day. I looked great. My parents went home, and Biff came over, and then we... Oh, no, I can't read that poem. <laughs> Later that night, Bobby Taylor came over and took me to a drive-in movie. I don't remember what movie we saw because we... Oh, no, I can't read that poem either. Morning, ladies. Oh, hi, Sandra. Aren't you going to work today? I'm sick. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in bed? I'm going shopping. It always makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, why the long faces? Uh, what's Mary been up to now? Mary? She won't let us play the lottery no more. <laughs> I'm not stopping you from doing anything. I just said I think it's a waste of money. You think this fur is a waste of money? Just how do you think I got it? <laughs> You know I got it playing the lottery. Still a waste of money. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. 
Don't be such a killjoy. The lottery is fun. You don't always have to win. It's just fun to play. The thrill, the anticipation, the big moments. Ooh, it's just like having... <laughs> well, it's almost like... <laughs>